Hello and welcome to Postcard and a Pint. I'm Rachel. And I'm Will. And today is our last day in London. Boo. Boo. We're going home tonight. But today we are in and around Greenwich in London by the Thames, where the we Thames. are now. So what are we going to see in this video, Will? We're going to have a wander through the uh, the Victorian Greenwich foot tunnel. I think it's Victorian. Is it Victorian? I think it is. <laughs> foot tunnel, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to see the Royal uh, Naval Buildings. We're going to have a look at the Cutty Sark. Uh, we're going to have a look at the Royal Observatory. Ooh. I hope we've never been there. We've never been there. I hope we find it. So come with us as we explore Greenwich and the surrounding areas. <laughs> base in Euston Square this morning. We decided to go and find some breakfast, had a quick Google, find a lovely place close by called the Half Cup at King's Cross. So that was a good call because um, we would then be near to King's Cross where all the train lines run through. Brilliant breakfast, check it out, the Half Cup King's Cross, they do breakfast all day. Um, I had a nice veggie full English, it was gorgeous. Uh, we went across to King's Cross, we got on the Hammersmith line, we went to Bow Street, Bow something. Bow end? No, whatever's on the uh, pink one. And then we changed there, we had walked to the uh, Dockland Light Railway, and then we came down here um, to Island Gardens. And we've got up there, and we are about to explore the tunnel. The Greenwich Tunnel was designed by Alexander Binney. Work started on it in June 1899, and it was completed on August the 4th, 1902. And it was uh, commissioned by London County Council and it was a great way for people living south of the river to cross avoiding a really unreliable ferry service to their work in the docks or shipyard. There are 87 steps on the north side and 100 steps on the south. The tunnel is 370.2 metres long and 15.2 metres deep. The northern end was damaged by bombs during the Second World War and repairs included a thick steel and concrete inner lining. I love this tunnel, we've been here a few times recording this out. Listen to this, right? Hand down. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And that's why Will loves the tunnel. The crazy thing is, this path is on the UK National Cycle Path, but you're not allowed to ride your bike through it. Done and it said then that still about 4,000 people a day use this tunnel. Whether that still is right in Covid times, who knows, it's pretty busy today. Lifts were installed in 1904, two years after it opened. They were then upgraded in 1992 and again in 2012. The south exit of the tunnel is almost directly opposite the Cutty Sark. Here we are at the Cutty Sark, it uh, was built in 1869, uh, it was actually built in Scotland for the Jock Willis Shipping Company and was one of the last tea clippers ever to be built. In 1938 the ship stopped sailing the high seas and became a training ship where it continued until 1954 when, um, when they didn't need it anymore so it came to Greenwich here to dry dock to be used as a public display. Whilst here in Greenwich, they've, uh, as you can see, they've since turned it into a museum, which we're not going to go and see today, but we have seen it before, and it's fantastic. During the time here, it's been on fire twice, uh, which isn't good. It was particularly damaged uh, on one occasion, but they've, as you can see, they've done a good job at restoring it, and it's well worth a day out. So come and have a look at the Cutty Sark. The museum at the Cutty Sark is currently open daily between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Currently, it costs £15 per adult and £7.50 per child.
we're now at the Royal Naval College. Now before this building existed, on this site was a royal palace, the Royal Palace Placentia, and this was the birthplace of many Tudors. Uh, a couple of notable ones being Henry VIII and Elizabeth I. fell into disrepair in the English Civil War and was replaced by this building which was the Royal Naval Hospital and that was designed by Sir Christopher Wren. And what else did he design Wills? Oh we did the dome at St Paul's. Really? These buildings became the Royal Naval College in 1873. We've just visited the chapel of St Peter and Paul. We've never been in this building before and it was fantastic. Come and visit. The Royal Naval Buildings also housed the Trinity Lab and Conservatoire of Music and Dance. market, didn't even know this was here, gutted because it's street food which we love and we're not hungry. Bad times. To infinity and beyond. Are you taking the piss at me? Yeah. Greenwich is located in the historic county of Kent, known as the Garden of England. It's also located in the ceremonial county of Greater London and it's 5.5k away south southeast of Charing Cross. Well, what an amazing view from up here. Um, you can see the Royal Naval College where we were and uh, the uh, O2 Arena used to be called the Millennium Dome. Built for 2000. Here we are at the Royal Observatory, situated in Greenwich Park. It's the home of the Meridian Line. We're at zero degrees longitude. I'm on the east. I'm on the west. I'm on the east. I'm on the west. I'm on the east. It's the west. You know what Greenwich is most famous for, don't you? Fish and chips? No. Booze? No. Greenwich Mean Time. Have you got the time on your cock? No. Look at on my wrist. So if you like and you enjoyed this video, please can you like, like it? Can you drop us a comment below? And will you subscribe, please? Please. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are in the Gypsy Moth pub next to the Cutty Sark. The Gypsy Moth was a boat um, sailed around the world single handedly by Sir Francis Chichester, and it was moored here next to the uh, Gypsy Moth for a while. Next to the Gypsy Moth? Oh, next to the cutty sock, you know what I mean. <laughs> while, while we're here, I'm just going to say I've gone for the, uh, the Camden Hills beer, or Rachel's gone for the Peroni. And so, we've gone for our charcuterie sharing plate. Guess what? What? It's pint time. It's pint time. 
What's been your favourite part of the day? Uh, probably going to the top of the hill, to be honest, and seeing the, uh, the look of London. I've not seen that before. Yeah, this is the first time today on any of our vlogs that we've actually done something that we weren't familiar with, so it went it went okay, didn't it? It's been a good few days, but uh, it's going to be the end of our, our Greenwich vlog. And uh, we're going home soon. We're going home soon. So, as we say, in postcard and a bind, cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times. times. My mate met his missus at London Zoo. From the first second he saw her, he knew she was a keeper. <laughs>